Multimodal Life API. Let's take it for a spin. In this video, I will show you how to take advantage of GitHub repository I have created with a couple of ready to be used scripts, as well as I will show you how to take advantage of uh, some of the collab notebooks that are already available for everyone to get you started. So sit tight and enjoy the video. Okay, let's talk about Multimodal Life API. I have prepared a um, repository, GitHub repository, you can easily download and use uh, for your own benefit. It has two scripts, text to audio chat and voice to voice chat. Uh, it can be used both with Google AI Studio API key as well as Vertex AI. Uh, there is a um, small change you have to do in the code to choose which one you want to use, but we will com come back to that. A multimodal Life API is available for both methods, but as a moment of recording of this uh, video for Vertex AI, you can use API version with V1 Beta 1. And unfortunately for uh, Gemini Developer API, so Google AI Studio, uh, I got that only working with API version V1 Alpha. It will definitely change in the future, but it is what it is for today. So without further ado, mm, that's my repository already cloned in my VS Code. And let's start with text to audio live API mm, program. We have to specify a project ID if we plan to use Vertex AI. And this first example is of Vertex AI. So I specify my existing project ID, run the program. And once I see a um, prompt asking me about message, I can start typing. So let's start. Hello, what would you like to talk about today? All right, that was very fast. Uh, can you tell me a joke about uh, Mondays, for example? Why is Monday like the end of a joke? Because nobody gets it. Would you like to hear another joke? Uh, what about Fridays then? Why is Friday the best day of the week? Because it's always followed by a Saturday. Would you like to hear another joke or would you like to change the topic? So that was a quick demo of uh, text to audio. Mm, let's now jump to audio to audio live API. And here, uh, let's do something else. Let's try to authenticate with uh, API key. So we are not going to change project ID. We'll say use Vertex AI to false. And then we have to make sure that Google Gemini, I'm sorry, Google API key is uh, available in our environment. Uh, so, uh, the way to do it, if you work in Linux, it's command something like export Google API key with value of your key. And since my current environment is PowerShell, uh, the mm, command looks a little bit different, I like that one. I'm not going to execute that because it would overwrite my proper key, right? So without further ado, let's run the script and see how that will work. Oops, I think I forget to save the changes I've done with use Vertex AI to false. So let me quickly fix that. Uh, let's save the changes. And once saved, let's try to run it again. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm actually recording a live demo right now. Oh, that sounds interesting. What kind of demo are you recording? I'm talking about Multimodal Life API from Gemini. Okay, that's fascinating. Is there anything specific you'd like to discuss about it? No, I think it's time to finish this conversation. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, you're welcome. You have a great day as well. Okay, and you can finish the uh, program with uh, Control c And this is it. Uh, so... Um, Check all the details in the README file. Uh, the license is Apache 2, so download it, play with those files, use them in your project as you wish. Um, if you don't want to run something locally, uh, Google has prepared a couple of notebooks, uh, call-up notebooks you can use. One of those is available on Google Gemini repository, and this focuses mostly from the Google AI Studio point of view. And another one, or couple of them are on Generative AI uh, subcategory subfolder of Google Cloud Platform repository. And there are a couple of different ones, uh, more advanced, less advanced, so definitely check it out. Uh, details are in the description of the video. But maybe to 
quickly give you an introduction how easy it is to actually use them, I will click open and call up in new window. So I've got it already open in my call up. Um, what I can do is save a copy. So all the changes I do to this file will be actually saved on my drive. So I can reuse that in the future. This opens in the new window. I can, for example, rename the file. So it's easy for me to understand and recognize that in my uh, drive and, you know, play with that in the future. And all I have to do is to execute each of those commands. And whenever you push the first execute, the Python virtual machine or Python compute engine starts in the background for you, uh, which only lasts for some time. So definitely it will lose progress of those commands in the future. But as long as your session is active, uh, all the commands that are executed are within the same machine. So right now we installed Google Gen AI SDK. Then we are going to run this blog to authenticate to uh, Google Cloud. So this notebook can use my credentials when calling APIs. And I have to agree with that for that. Once this is done, I can import the libraries. Um, you know, the code is ready, ready for me. Then specify my project ID. In this case, I have to change that to something that I own. So for, in this case, Atomic Bison. Uh, for you, it will be something different, right? Your project ID to which you've got proper permissions. Uh, leaf model for Gemini 2.0 flash EXP, because I think that one, that's the only one right now working with audio features. I'm going to skip example one because text to text is a bit boring. And let's try to execute example two. Yes, I'm here. What would you like to talk about? So that works really nice, right? It answers to the question over here. So let's try to change the question to tell me something interesting about calendars, for example. And let's rerun that. Calendars are pretty interesting, actually. The ancient Egyptians were among the first to develop a solar calendar, and their year was 365 days long, which is pretty close to the actual solar year. Is there anything else you'd like to know about calendars? Okay, and as you can see, we can also change voices. So let's try to play out with another voice. And obviously the same question might give us a different answer. Calendars have been around for millennia. The oldest calendar discovered was found in Scotland and dates back to 8,000 BC. What else would you like to know about calendars? And definitely go ahead and play with that. There are a couple of different examples, uh, as you can see on the left-hand side. Uh, so if you want to utilize Call up, that's a great place to start. Again, there are more examples in this repository. Uh, some of them are a bit more advanced, so definitely check it out as well. If you want to progress or you know learn more or play a bit more with Multimodal Life API. And a small reminder, uh, my repository I also created. Uh, details you can find in the description. All right, I think that's about it. Hope you had fun. Hope this was useful and see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.